I like to start each presentation by going over the objectives of what I hope you will learn from it. You should finish this presentation understanding some basic techniques for reviewing data. You should learn what data segmentation is. And you should learn how the data you collect interacts with the current state process flowcharts that you will be developing. In the analysis step of a Kaizen event, you will be looking at the data that you collected during the process walk and prior to starting the event. The goal is to be able to take that raw data and turn it into useful information. And by that, I mean information that the team can act on to make improvements. There are a few general steps to data analysis. The first thing you need to do is review the data. Check it over to make sure that it makes sense. Look for aberrations or any other problems with your data. This step also includes preparing it for use. Transfer the data to an Excel spreadsheet and organize your column layout. Once you've done your basic perusal of the data, make a hypothesis. That basically means make an educated guess about what the data is telling you. Perhaps, as you look over the data on cycle time, you notice that a disproportionate number of delays occur immediately after breaks or lunches. You might form a hypothesis that tools are not being returned to their proper location, or that people forget which steps they're on, or that people are returning late. The point is to turn that data into a scientific guess that you will go and confirm, which happens to be the next step. Once you have your hypothesis, go to the shop floor and check it out. Many people skip this confirmation step. They make an assessment from the data and assume that their hypothesis about it is correct. Take a few minutes to make sure. As you go through the data, I recommend you keep a copy of your process flowchart handy. You can take the data you have collected and overlay it onto the process map. In this case, you can see that when I hit the snooze button, I am late 40% of the time versus only 27% of the time if I do not hit the button. To do this sort of overlay, you need to identify anomalies in your data and look for the steps on the process map where those causes reside. Write the data onto the map. This will nearly always be at a decision point. If you do not have a clear decision point where the data can go, think about breaking your map up into more granular steps. Finally, when all your data is laid out on the map, look for the priority steps to work on. Think through the whole path. In this case, there is only one data summary shown. On a larger map, you may have a large percent problem on a small branch of the process map that has a smaller impact than a smaller defect rate on the main branch. The numerical rate of a problem is not the only factor that goes into determining its magnitude. This combination of a few tools lets you put the information out in an at-a-glance way to help you prioritize your improvement activity.